How to integrate custom forms in Shopify 2023 step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video I bring you back with yet another great Shopify topic. So in this topic, we're going to be discussing on how you can go ahead and integrate proper custom forms for yourself in Shopify in the easiest, most simplest way possible. Okay. And it's going to be an absolutely easy and absolutely out of this world tutorial. And it's, it's just going to be great. So just make sure to watch this video fully till the end to listen to all the information that I have to provide you for this topic. And yeah, so it's just going to be really great stuff. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So to start ourselves off, what we're going to do is obviously we're going to create a Shopify account for ourselves. So to create a Shopify account, I'm going to go ahead on start free trial. Okay. And uh, for this video, I'm going to be using a temp mill for myself. Okay. Obviously you don't necessarily need to do this. You can go, just go ahead and use any type of email, but uh, obviously I'm going to use temp mill because I just want to. So again, necessarily you don't need to do this. So I'm going to go here and obviously I'm going to click on, I'm just getting started. Where would you like to sell? Pick as many as you like. You can always change these later. We'll make sure you're set up to sell in these places. Okay. So obviously over here, you can go with the, you know, where would you like to sell? Could be an online store. It could be in person, existing website or blog. I'm going to go with an online store. Okay. And once you do that, we're going to click on next. What do you plan to sell first? So pick what you want to start with and we'll help you stock your store. So it could be, you know, products I buy or make myself, digital products, drop shipping products. So I'm going to go with those and click on next. Now, once you click on next here, it's going to bring you to create a Shopify ID. I'm going to go ahead and continue with email as I told you. But again, you can go ahead and choose to do this with your Gmail or something. So here we have it. Password. I'm going to go ahead and add my own strong password and then finally create Shopify ID. So here you can see it starts validating your account till then it gives you, you know, a few tips. So you can just go ahead and read those, you know, Shopify's free themes come with everything that you need to start selling, including discounts, email capture, and the best restock. Okay. Now let's just wait for it. And once we're like properly set it up and good to go, here you can see here things are, it's going to bring us straight into our Shopify dashboard and admin. So let's wait for it to do that. And uh, once we get loaded in, let's start talking about integrating our custom forms. So once you are straight into, you know, the whole dashboard, you know, assuming you know what the dashboard actually is, how you're going to work with it and, you know, you're fully set it up and everything. So once you come down here on, you know, setting up your online store and things or adding products, you can see a lot of things and they're going to, you know, tell you to add brand assets, customize your themes, add pages to your store and much more. And obviously you can check all those things out in your settings as well. So obviously there you can create custom forms for yourself as well, which is a pretty good and unique thing you can have for yourself. And uh, obviously custom forms also depends on your brandings and logos, which can be compatible with different essential channels. Okay. So obviously to start yourself off with that, what you're going to do is first of all, you know, again, make sure you have a proper set it up store. Now, once you have a proper set it up store to, you know, starting adding customized forms, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your online store over here. Okay. Now, once you're in your online store, what you're going to do, well, let me just wait for this to load up. Okay. Now, once it loads up, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you have the necessary pages that you actually need for your proper store up and running. And also you're going to make sure that you choose the proper themes for your store. So as you can see, my default theme set right now is the Dawn theme. So let's keep it at that. And now let's come on to pages. And once you're in your pages, obviously we're going to make a custom form. So you're going to come here. Let's say our custom form is I'm just going to name it something random. So let's call it send your design. Okay. So you can just write a description like, you know, if you want to send us your design, you can send it down here, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, you can go ahead, choose whatever heading you want to, and then just start writing whatever you want to write down here. Okay. And once you do that, I'm going to click on save. So obviously we've created a page called send your design. Now, once you've done that to actually make the page appear on your, you know, store, you're going to go on navigation. Once you go on navigation, you're going to go on main menu. 
Okay, once you go on main menu, go on add menu item, go over here, you're gonna go on pages and send your design. There we go. So obviously we're gonna call this page send your design, or you can just call it forms. That totally depends on how you wanna approach it. Okay, so once we've understood that, uh, you're gonna add the menu item and everything. And once you do that, just click on save menu. And once you do that, obviously you're gonna come back to your online store into your themes. And once you're into your themes, to actually customize the form, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on customize as so. Now, once you go on customize, what you're gonna do now, uh, as you can see over here, it says send your design. So you're gonna move over to send your design. As you can see, it's a pretty blank page and not a lot of things are going on in the page right now. So to basically add a custom form for yourself, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here into the template section, you're gonna click on add section. And once you click on add section, you're gonna write form or here it says contact form. And once you do that, here you can see it makes a contact form for you just like that. Really easy and really simple, isn't it? And uh, then obviously you can do more stuff to it by, you know, changing its padding and stuff right here. So as you can see, you can change the top padding. You can add custom CSS by yourself, change the font size if you want to. You can, you know, mess around with the theme settings and, uh, you know, pretty basic stuff. And uh, again, same, change the top padding, change the bottom padding. You know, it basically just increases the surface area and everything. And uh, obviously to integrate custom forms, again, uh, let's say I'm gonna save all of this and I'm gonna go over, over here. I'm gonna go and add apps, go to the Shopify app store. And uh, obviously to integrate this pretty easy and simply, you're just gonna come here and you're gonna write forms now it obviously solely depends on you on what kind of app you actually want to integrate it with there's many apps to do it so but uh, let's say you're you can go with p5 form builder just click on it and then just you know add this app and once you add it you're going to integrate it with your shopify store and once you do that go ahead and make any type of design that you actually desire but yeah that's essentially about it for this video so if i were to give a brief overview of how you're gonna you know actually approach these things just go ahead choose your designs and once you choose a design go ahead and actually mess around with the coding and custom styling sheets and everything and once you do that yeah you're essentially gonna be good to go for your page so uh i hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you and uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guide for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, before signing off, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.